Actor Ryan O'Neill, whose roles ranged from TV soap opera to love story and Paper Moon, in which he co-starred with his charming nine-year-old daughter Tatum, deceased on Friday, according to his son. My dad passed away peacefully today, with his loving team by his side supporting him and loving him as he would us, wrote Los Angeles sportscaster Patrick O'Neill on Instagram. It took some time before representatives from O'Neill could be reached. He was vague about the reason. A decade after his initial diagnosis of chronic leukemia, Ryan O'Neill received a second devastating diagnosis, prostate cancer. In years, he had lived to 82. Patrick O'Neill wrote, My father, Ryan O'Neill, has always been my hero. He is a Hollywood legend. End of sentence. Peter Bogdanovich, on Paper Moon, and Stanley Kubrick, on Barry Lyndon, were two of the most acclaimed filmmakers of the 1970s with whom O'Neill collaborated. Playing characters with dark or ominous undertones, he frequently made use of his boyish, blonde, attractive looks. O'Neill continued to act steadily on television far into his 70s in the 2010s, making appearances on Bones and Desperate Housewives. However, he was in the spotlight due to his troubled family life and his lengthy relationship with Farrah Fawcett. O'Neill was in a relationship with Fawcett for almost 30 years. They had a son, Redmond, in 1985, and were divorced twice. They broke up in 1997, but got back together in 2001. Even after Fawcett lost her fight with illness in 2009 at the age of 62, he stayed by her side. One of O'Neill's sons from his previous marriage to Joanna Moore is the actress Tatum O'Neill, who co-starred with him in the 1973 film Paper Moon and went on to win an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress. The other son, Griffin, is also an actor. Patrick was his son from a previous marriage to Leigh Taylor Young. Love Story, a 1970 romantic drama starring Ailey McGraw and Ryan O'Neill, was nominated for Best Actor. The film follows a young couple as they fall in love, get married, and then learn that she has terminal cancer. One of the most famous and parodied lines from the film is, Love means never having to say you're sorry. The actor's relationships with his three children were not always smooth. He had a falling out with his daughter, arguments with his son Griffin, and was arrested for drug possession when his son Redmond's probation was revoked. His subsequent career was frequently overshadowed by his personal problems, albeit a reality series was made about his attempts at reconciliation with Tatum O'Neill. Peyton Place, 1964-1969, a primetime soap opera that also made Maya Farrow a star, gave O'Neill his big break after he had dabbled in little parts and stunt work. O'Neill then made his big screen debut in 1969's The Big Bounce, co-starring with his then-wife, Leigh Taylor Young. However, he became a cinematic celebrity because to Love Story. This romantic melodrama was a smashing success for Paramount Pictures, earning seven nominations at the Academy Awards, including Best Picture. It was named Best Music. After that, in Bogdanovich's 1972 screwball comedy, What's Up, Doc? O'Neill co-starred with Barbara Streisand as an awkward professor. The next year, he landed a role in the con artist comedy, Paper Moon, set during the Great Depression. O'Neill portrayed a shady character who preyed on widows he found through death notices as a Bible salesman. Tatum, who is his real-life daughter, played an orphan who needs his help and ends up redeeming him. The character smoked cigarettes and trash spoke. Despite critical acclaim for both performers, the small girl became the youngest individual to ever receive a regular Academy Award for her bold performance, which eclipsed her father's. In 1974, when the prize was given out, she was 10 years old. Special Oscars have been presented to younger artists like Shirley Temple. In Kubrick's 18th century epic, Barry Lyndon. The elder O'Neill played a downtrodden Irish rogue who wandered Europe pretending to be a nobleman. This was the elder O'Neill's second big film. The three-hour filming process was laborious, 
and the infamous perfectionist Stanley Kubrick and the actor never reconciled. In Bogdanovich's 1976 early Hollywood comedy Nickelodeon, O'Neill reunited with Tatum. Unfortunately, they never collaborated again after the film bombed. Oliver Barrett, the protagonist of his hit film Love Story, had another unsuccessful sequel, Oliver's Story, released in 1978.